confectionery lives of artists and other organisms and is commissioned by the Florence Griswold Museum for this show. And it brings together a series of works that I've been making over the last decade or so, including the confectionery curiosities, a body of work that I've made with my husband, Mark Dion, since 2008, as well as sculptural representations of some of the cakes found in many of the paintings that I've made over the years as well as this very special work called The Confectionary Lives of Snails, which I made in 2017. The domes are hand-blown glass made by Dante Marioni while I was at the Hillchuck School of Glass residence. Um, and they're kind of modeled on these fly traps that you would see a hole in a jar that would attract flies where they could go in through the hole but they couldn't escape. And so I was trying to create topiaries for snails, but in a situation that would allow enough airflow to kind of keep everything healthy and vibrant. So the hole is at the top just large enough to allow in air, but not too large as to allow the, snake, the snails to escape. And so as I've been making these food works for animals over the years, I like to incorporate elements of the animal's natural diets. And for snails, it's a little bit different than some of the other animals that I've worked with. So I made cakes out of soil and moss and wood and old bits of stick and lichen, as well as fresh vegetables like asparagus and cucumbers and lettuce and beautiful flowers from the gardens here at the Florence Griswold Museum and all of these things that snails love to eat. And then the as during the course of the show, the vegetable matter is replaced on a weekly basis. Um, and snails are, of course, an animal that I've been working with since I was a child. I've always been fascinated by the, the beauty of the snail as an animal. Um, I love the idea of them being completely self-contained inside these very beautiful shells where they can hibernate inside of their own shell for weeks, months, sometimes even years, um, besides the shell representing the shape of the spiral and the beauty of the shell itself, as well as the bodies of the snails that are kind of viscous and translucent and beautiful in their own way.